So, what we're going to do is maybe a monthly update. It'll be on the vlog or maybe a separate video. I'm not sure of the cars here, you know, what's going on with the cars that we have for sale and what's going on with the cars that we're working on. So, but we just talked with Tevin and he was saying that we need to step up our game a little bit. Maybe we need to be a little more uh, enthusiastic or something. So I don't know, let's, let's go check with Tevin and see what he meant. Oh man, what do you want? Well, we want to know what what What's you up? mean. Like you were like, what? You know, step up yeah, our no, game or something you, a little is what you were saying. Right, we'll put it like this. You know when you get that piece of chicken and it's it's good, but you just missing that slight little, you know what I'm saying? Put some hot sauce just on it. Get you, uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. No, you know what I'm saying? Just psh, just little psh, psh, just little psh, psh, just a little, yeah. It's just okay. Like, that's all. That's all, all right. I'm saying. All right. He's saying we need to be more entertaining, I guess. I mean, I do too. Right. I, I, was, I was thinking we were getting, uh, we need to be more savory. Was what I was savory. saying. Savory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, we're going to step up the tempo a little bit here. Ooh. And we're going to go for it. Because it's going to oh. be crazy. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. So, let's check it out. Yeah, let's. Let's go this way. Right. Why not? Might as well. Watch out for the mirrors. I'm watching. Okay. Good job. Man. Yeah, thanks. Uh, this pro. is all backwards. You're a pro. All backwards. <clears throat> all right. So, I got a guy like super interested in the Celica. I mean, hopefully so, we sell it. We'll see. Um, I mean, the car is mint, man. The no, it's, it's awesome. It's got higher miles, but the thing is, it's like not rusty at all. It's awesome. Really. I mean, honest. driving this car to compared to the ST185? way better way better it's got a bigger turbo it's faster i think yes. it handles better like it's yeah. just i would actually drive the celica it's better all the way around yeah. right you're not and it definitely looks better i mean just look at this thing it's like a supra almost you know it's got the same lines yeah so yeah that's you know a nice car i got a guy but he hasn't put a deposit down so if you want it snap to it snap it up um what we got here we got some tevin's Cool wheels. Oh yeah, Tevin's cool wheels for a Z32. Yep. Look at, I mean, just look at the, look at the lips in these puppies. Like, I mean, oh. it's huge, huge. It's nice. it's nice. Is he gonna keep it that color? I think so. So I don't know what color that is. It's like a root beer with a bunch of flake. Root beer. Yeah. See, it's kind of super sparkly. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And then we have these T37s over here for the purple Supra. T37s. Wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport tires, which are pretty much the best tires you can buy. I'll say it. Uh, they're expensive as crap, but super nice. So that's for our customers' Supra. And we got some other wheels back here. We got some VIP wheels right here. These are nice. They are nice. These are going to go on one of the Y32s we have coming in, right? Maybe the gray one. Ooh yeah, black on gray. That'd look good. Black on gray would look really good. Yeah, we got a, a dark gray. Gloria, Y32 Gloria coming in. It's gonna look really good with these on there. I agree. We lower it down, we'll put brand new Fortunato coilovers on it. Do we have those, Ed? Uh, may wanna order them. Yeah, yeah, may, yeah. Cause that's coming in soon. Yeah, 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 that's a good call. I'll check on that. We got the uh, 3234, and this is sold on consignment, and this is actually changed. So flip that upside down. Oh, cool. So okay. we're down to 36.9 now? 36.9. Awesome. Mans wants to sell his car. So just to let you guys know, that's yeah. 36.9. And we got this beautiful example of an R32 GTR. Yeah, I mean, just look, look, at, look at the nice reflection. You can see the whole wall over there. Yeah. It's awesome. So this car is really nice. Um, I think we have this listed at... 36.9? I think so. Yep. But it's super clean. Really nice GTR. And the prices on these things, don't blame us. We don't set the prices, man. The market sets the prices. So, this is for sale. This is not for sale. FDRX7. We uh, sold it to a local customer and it, we fixed it up, basically. It did not look this no. good. 
at all when we got it. Yeah. And now it looks fantastic. It does look awesome. The wheels were chrome. It yeah. was black. We added the uh, the side splitters, side splitter, and the front, front splitter. splitter. Grills on here. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And then we got this beautiful silver GTR. And this is for sale? This is for sale. Okay. Sweet. Yes. She's for sale. And uh, really nice car. I Ooh, mean, you want to pop the hood? Show, show them? Show them okay. some sauce? It's not... Uh, no, no, no. Right. That, yeah, those are just to lock it. And we dinoed this yesterday. We did dino this yesterday. But you're gonna have to watch our dino video. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. You gotta watch the dino the video works. to see. Yep. It's octane, probably already on YouTube. 93 octane at like 20 psi is where we have it at. Uh, we didn't just we didn't put the race gas in and turn it up. So it's not our car now. This is on consignment as well. So just so you guys know. And then we have this beautiful bluebird. All right, we know it in the States as a 510, but in Japan it's a Bluebird. And then uh, it, this got a little surprise under the hood as well. Oh, sweet. What's, what's show on? Got the custom badges that say White Bird. That's interesting. Get back to figure it out. There we go. Check out the interior. In this so cool looking. Ready. Another one. Another one. Another one. An NASR20. Sweet. Yeah, because what engine came in this originally, Ed? Uh, I don't know the code, but it was a 1.3 liter single overhead cam. Slow. Yeah, look, look 1296cc right there. Slow. Slow. That's all you need to know. Look, 72 PS. Okay, Google. 72 PS to horsepower. 72 metric horsepower is equal to 71.01. Wow. 71 horsepower is what this thing has. 71 horsepower? Yeah. I like the hood top. Yeah, it's cool. That's actually pretty it's all cool. integrated, yeah. I like it too. I'm, I'm still working on a price with them to with what we're going to list it for. So that's still up in the air a little bit. Um, this single turbo with the built motor and everything, 44.9. So you might want to snatch this one up. I mean, it's got big brakes, AP brakes, a full cage. Um, I mean, the thing is loaded down. Oh, one of the biggest things is HKS six speed transmission. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, dog box. Check that thing out right there. Whew. Got the custom yeah. gritty gauges in it and stuff too. It's super cool. And then out here we have the Land Cruiser, which Ed brought back from getting aligned. Yep. And what was it? There was some issue that we had to repair. Uh, yes. But what was it? Yeah, so essentially the, uh, I believe they call it a drag link. It goes from the one wheel up to the steering box. Where it connects, goes into the pitman arm there, that ball joint kind of fell apart while we were trying to adjust it. As soon as you were getting it up on the rack and started adjusting yeah, it? Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm glad we didn't die. <laughs> I'm sorry that Evan had to take a wrench to the face when it broke, but he's okay, so that's good. But yeah, I drove it back this morning, man. This thing... Feels good now. Yeah, it feels good. Good, good. Yeah, I mean, this is a cool truck, man. Yeah, let's go look at Turbo it. Turbo diesel. It's got a sweet little parking mirror right here, so you can see the side of the truck when yeah. you're parking. I like these. I think they're really cool. I do too. So yeah, we didn't do a whole lot to this actually. Um, it's kind of the way it came. I mean, we painted the grill up a little bit, some trim pieces. Yeah, the grill was pretty faded. We replaced the center caps. They were chrome and oh, not, yeah, they were not pretty. Rusty. But underneath, if you can like pan up under there a little bit, Ed, see if you can get some decent pictures. But it's clean. Yeah, we can see you got the uh, the old lift kit right, Chandra. 
It is really clean. Got some BFG mud trains. Yeah, some badass tires. Can you see? Can you see? Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they can see. I mean, usually these things, even the good ones, have a little bit of rust on them. But this one, yeah, it's it's, it's like really super good shape. Clean. I, I don't know, especially back here in the bed on the bottom of the bed is where you'll see these rust. Even the good ones, like I said, will have some rust on the yeah. underside of that bed. This one doesn't have any. So really good chassis. Interior is in good shape. It's got a naughty steering wheel. Naughty steering wheel. It's really nice to drive with this. Like, like I thought I was like, man, this is gonna feel weird. Yeah. It doesn't. It feels really good. Well. Whoever's buying, whoever uh, buys this is lucky that I didn't snag that wheel out of there because that thing's That's something Chris dope. would do too. It is. Totally hang it up on his wall, never put it in a car. Just. It's artwork, man. It's it is artwork. artwork. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go back in here. Okay. Okay. I see you got your Yep. I got car aligned. old pinky aligned. Got the center caps on. It Those actually. wheels look good on there. Yeah. It looks like someone cares now. I mean, the paint still sucks. Yeah, the paint's still horrible. It looks better. Hey, guys! Hey, hey fellas! What's going on, buddies? Hey, fellas! <laughs> okay, so... Hey, thanks. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys, guys got going on over here? This beautiful beast right here. Baby Blues. R33 GTST. That's what we're working on. Getting it ready. The pictures. I see you put these all away. Mm. Yeah, got some, some. What do we got here? What do we got some here? Fancy Ed? wheels. It's brand new RPF ones in, in black. Black. Man, I, is this like a satin black? It looks like a satin. Yeah. Man, Man I didn't realize nice. how light these things are. They are super light. Yeah, like really, really light. That's why people like them. And th did they discontinue them? Oh no no. no. They're they, still making. Well, they discontinued the, certain the sizes. yeah certain sizes because I was gonna get some tens for the rear, but they were discontinued. But yeah, super cool. This is for this car. The blue yeah, so I just figured out what size tires we need to get. I'm gonna order those today. Look under the hood. Yeah, we got the engine bay all back together. Look at this. Boom, boys. Woo! Look at that oh, color I matching. Got, you know what? I gotta take a picture and send it to the owner. That's yeah. good thinking. Sorry guys. This is uh Yeah, it's sold. It's sold. Yep. Let me get a pic. Oh, look at that picture. Oh yeah, that's good. There's one in the chat already. Yeah, I sent the before and after to the chat, so. Sweet. Yeah. It's very commendable of you. Thank you. We're gonna clean this up. We got some covers going on here. We had a, a, a little bit of an issue. Oh no, it looks like there's a lot bigger than a little <laughs> issue. There's no <laughs> turbo, there's no manifold. We had a little bit of an issue, so uh the wastegate, here, here it is, right here. This was the wastegate that came on that car. That's a wastegate? It looks like, um, a, it's small like a blow off. Yeah, it is, like but tiny. this is the wastegate, look. This is a 38 millimeter. Oh, that's why it's tiny looking. Turbo smart, okay. So this was on there with this turbo. Okay, this Garrett. I, I believe it's a GT40. GT40, okay. So this turbo on this, Three liter, two JZ, with this little wastegate, not cutting it. No, not cutting it at all. Okay, so basically what is happening is the turbo is making more boost than this can waste off, and that's what wastegate wastegate does is waste off the excess the excess exhaust gases so that it doesn't overspin your turbo and raise the boost. So we were getting boost creep is what yeah. it's called. On boost this. spike. Boost spike? Yeah. I call it creep. Creep is when you're in boost and it's doing good and it just barely comes up higher than it should be. Like over a period of time or like consistently. This but is just this going is, this is just straight spiking. Yeah, spiking. So oh. what do we have here? We have the solution, a bigger wastegate. A 44 millimeter wastegate. Yeah, 44 millimeter wastegate. So Josh is uh, a little under the weather today. Feel better, bud. <laughs> so um, he's, you know, hopefully maybe he'll be in tomorrow and get this thing installed on here and solve our issue with that. So we shall see. No, it's gonna fix it. So I guess, uh, 
Let's go to the back room, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. So we got this Evo here. This is a customer's car. And uh, really good looking car. I mean, it is. It's a nice Evo. So he was having issues where it wasn't running at all. And we brought it in here. Um, it had low compression on three cylinders. And a lot of times people be like, oh no, you got low compression. Rip the engine out. Let's take it apart and rebuild it, okay? So I told the customer, I was like, well, let's see. You know, sometimes the cylinders can get washed with excess fuel and have low compression at that time, but there's really nothing wrong with it. So get it running again, see if we can get the compression back. He was thinking we were gonna have to do a complete engine rebuild, which he's gonna do anyway, but now he could take his time, build another engine, and then when that's ready, we'll swap it into this. But in the meantime, we're gonna put a Haltech on it, some new injectors, because we feel like the injectors are bad, a fuel rail, all capable of stepping up with his power that level that he wants to go to. But this way we'll get it fine-tuned on this. He can drive this car for now, and then we'll build another engine on the side, and then when it's ready, swap it in. So that's the plan on the Evo. So we ordered up some stuff. We're just waiting on parts to come in. We're gonna tune it and everything. Sweet good thing we have an all-wheel drive dyno. <laughs> yeah, it is a good thing we have an all-wheel drive dyno. So yeah. All right, let me get the light. We'll just review a couple more cars back here. We got the, you know, wheel and tire gang going. Yeah, on. those wheels over there for the uh, Cresta. Yes, the Cresta, which we have it paint. Yeah, we're getting the front. It's a JZX90 Cresta. It's got the um, R154 transmission, so it's a five speed with the 1JZ GTE. Um, it's got like an intercooler, downpipe, exhaust, some In, stuff intake, to it. Yeah. yeah. So that should be back soon. We'll clean that up. We'll have that for sale soon. And then we have a silver JZX90 Chaser that we've got some side skirts for. Um, it didn't have the mud flaps. So we got some, a little bit of aero. It's got a front lip already. We'll add the side skirts. Does it have rear valances? Rear valances, yeah, that came with it too. So we got rear valances. We'll see, you know, get all that fitted up, get it painted to match, and then we'll have that for sale soon too. So we got some JZX 90s coming. I, I, man, nah. I'm not taking responsibility for this one. Am I? That one's yours. Is it mine? It's totally yours. You know okay. what? Don't waste it. <laughs> All right, don't put remind it, don't, me. no, don't, I'll hold remind it, I'll me. hold it. Don't hold it this whole time. I might, put it right I there. might end up drinking it. Put it right there. Yeah, I mean, it's probably only, we'll I mean, those are still the, uh, the Christmas polar bears. Yeah, I know, it was a while. Okay, I know, I have a problem with that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we've already touched on this. This is the Paul Walker R34 six-speed. This is the SR that's going back in the drift project. Over there in the Sylvia corner. in the corner. We got another six speed over here that's going in a, a GTR. Um, exhaust? Whose exhaust is this? That is. Hunters? Off, no, that's off the blue GTR that's a paint. Ah, okay. It's a nice exhaust. It is nice. Um, the burnt right, tip. So we got the 370Z, which we have the horsepower uh, stock. 370Z horsepower video. Okay, we did that. And it made what 387? 387, yeah. 387 to the wheels. And then someone commented, I saw on the thing, and they were like, Oh, yeah, we all know how a dyno works. <laughs> I know, I, you see that? I commented back, and I was like, No, people don't know how a dyno works. Okay, you already commented. That's back. why we were being so specific. Because I was going to say, uh, obviously, you didn't read the comments on our last dyno video. <laughs> yeah. So. People were like, they, they couldn't understand the whole horsepower. Like, is this crank horsepower? Well, they would, they would say that, you know, they were asking basically, uh, well, Nissan says it makes 210 or 220 at the wheel or at the, you know, the car makes 210. 
and uh, it was like okay but that's at the engine that's what the engine makes so when Chevrolet says okay we got the new Corvette it makes 490 horsepower that's not to the wheels Okay. That's, to the crank. that's at the engine. So it's got to go through the torque tube all the way back to the rear transmission. Through the transmission. It's driving the wheels, the tires, the axles, rotating the mass. gears, the transmission, all this stuff. It has to turn that, and that is loss. So you lose horsepower when that happens. And, you know, it's anywhere between 40 to 80 horsepower, basically, to turn all that stuff. So you lose that. And then I got to talk with Jason Kowalski about this because I know when cars get into like a thousand horsepower, okay, um, you'll have more loss. A thousand horsepower at the engine and you'll end up with like 800 at the wheels. And it's like, well, but it takes the same. I don't know. I got to talk to him about that. We're going to find that out and get We're back to you because out. I want to know this too. I because know. I thought was, was told it was like, you know, 15 to 25% drive line, drive line right, loss. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying is you have a 100 horsepower car mm -hmm. and you put it on a 100 horsepower at the engine, you put it on the dyno and it makes 60. So you have a loss of 40 horsepower. Mm -hmm. If you took that same exact car and put a 1,000 horsepower engine in it, same transmission, same tires, same everything, why wouldn't it be 900 and 60 horsepower to the wheels because it's the same 40, drive 40 horsepower powertrain loss powertrain loss of 40 horsepower why does the percent why does it go on a percentage so what you're saying why doesn't it make 800 horsepower why does it make 800 now right why wouldn't it make 960 and you lose that same 40 horsepower that it takes to drive that stuff so we're gonna find that out i talked to jason i asked him you know so i don't know we'll see but anyway we have Jonathan Elias's. He sold his intake manifold. He by the sold way. it. He's getting the uh, Hypertune Hyper drag manifold, which is really cool. All billet and everything. Oh, oh look also at, look at that cluster of freaking AN lines. <laughs> I know. It's a lot, man. It's a, a lot. AN line the world. Yeah, yeah. So, someone asked. I saw and I need to reply to it too. I don't know if you did already, but they were asking what this is. If this like changed the angle of the cam, and no, this is a, a mechanical fuel pump. Yeah. So the, when the cam spins, it spins this. Yeah. This is just yeah. the, using the cam as a drive. Yeah. Like to a power turn source. This. Yeah. Okay. So this is a Kinsler uh, manual fuel pump. Okay. Mechanical fuel pump. So. That's what that is, so you know. And then we got the uh, Z31 project. Yeah, we were able to talk with the owner this week, so I, I'm working on a couple of price estimates for him now. Hopefully we get to do an RB25 swap in it because that would be awesome. But he, I mean, he has big plans for it. He wants to get the whole thing repainted and get the interior redone. He bought this car. New? Not new. He, it's a 1986 and he bought it in 1987. Okay, so, so almost new. Almost new. So this man's has had this car for, you know, 35 years almost. Yeah. And it's got a lot of sentimental value to him. So we're going to, you know, do our best within his budget to make this a reality for him. Yeah. It so. may just end up being, you know, just a stock rebuild on the VG30 that's in it. At least it's a turbo one. So yes. that's cool. E it's a VG30 ET. ET. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, because it doesn't have dual overhead cams. Right. All right, we see, you know, Ed's been in here busy. Yeah, I've been building stuff. Making some carts just so we can stick this under the uh, car when we take the subframe out. But then we've got this sucker right here. And no, no, no. I'm, oh. I'm not going to open that because it's not attached. On this one, the guy brought it to us. He wants us to do a full resto job and build engine and all that. Well, plans changed and he's moving overseas and so forth so we might end up buying this car off of him just getting it back to uh you know a good condition paint yeah because because he already put a bunch it. of new seals in the engine it's got yeah. great compression like it's just pretty it's got good bones it does it does so we just need to clean it up we just need to figure out a price that works for both us and him and then we'll get this done and and sold or for sale yeah this is a complete engine build um 
we keep adding things to it as we go but uh, we're waiting on the head I think back from uh, Kowalski's to put on the engine and then we'll be able to start reassembling this and yeah. get it back this is one that has the six-speed transmission is going in this car so this should be pretty badass car and then this is the SEMA build this is Brad's build what's up Brad um, you see that? You see that? He said your name. Gotta always shout out Brad, man. Brad's a man. So, yeah, SEMA build. He loves seeing his car, so show him his car, Ed. Maybe. Take a good look, my friend. Here it is. We've already robbed some stuff off of it, and the engine is ours. And we may end up selling this to a guy that's gonna put it in a Y32. So, it's a Gloria, right? Cedric uh, it's Gloria? One, yeah, it's a Cedric or Gloria. It's not a scene. Cedric or Gloria. So, look for that build. That's going to be interesting. So, um, so yeah, man. Uh, we're still waiting on the garage active wide body for this. As soon as that comes in, we can start fitting that. Um, we're also waiting on the brace from uh, PRP, Platinum Racing Products, that goes on the RB30, because it's going to get an RB30 block with a Nitto 3.2 stroker kit and we're waiting on the brace that uh, goes on there and it takes the place of the main caps and braces everything up and makes it so we can bolt the RB26 um, oil pan on there and make it all wheel drive still. So a lot of times with holdups, with builds of this nature, of that nature, you know, of like this Hunter's car, okay. Things take time, and sometimes we're waiting on a part, that part comes in, we put it on the car, on the engine, and we needed that part before we could order some other parts. Right. And now we gotta wait for those parts to come in. So, just realize that, you know, it takes time. And we've got them in the system, we're organized to the point where something comes in, okay, now we can work on this car and get this part done. And then, okay, now we're at a standstill again because now we're waiting on some other parts. Right. So but we can move this car into the shop yeah. and work on it. Yeah. So, so I mean, like on, on this gray car over here, yeah. once we get the head back, we can get the engine back down and in, get the turbo mounted, but then we need to fab up intercooler piping yeah. and we, you know, we need V bands for the downpipe and stuff like that. Right. So, I mean, when you get to, it's, you have to get through it's stages. Yeah. You have There's to get stages. through stage A before you can get to stage B. Yeah. And then a car like this, we have to build the whole car basically. So we're gonna pull the engine out and everything. We're gonna put RB30 in there. We got the six speed transmission going in here. We gotta get all that mounted up in there. And then we can start fabbing things up. And we're gonna fab everything up and get everything, all the uh, fuel lines run, everything. The intercooler mounted, radiator mounted, you know, everything we're gonna do to this car, we're gonna get that done. And then from that point, we're gonna rip it all apart and then take it to paint. And then it all gets painted. Then it comes back and we reassemble the whole thing. So it's it's a lengthy process. It really it is. is. But if you wanna do it right, that's, that's how it's done. Yeah. So then we got this sucker right here. This is out of another GTR that's at paint. The real pretty blue one. Yes. The pretty blue one that we couldn't match the side skirt and front lip to that paint it's just we tried believe me we he tried the our uh, our paint guy he's got a cabinet and is sitting in his front room and he's just got like sample 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 like you know those little painted shells he's got like probably 15 of them that he yeah. tried to get the paint to match yeah. and it's just we, we, we can't do it so we're gonna do a two-tone because we don't want to repaint the whole car the car is beautiful the paint's actually in really really good condition so we're gonna do a two-tone, kind of like the Sylvia, okay? I don't know if you guys like seen the, they have like a silver and a gray, and what is it, at white? They have white and gray with the bottom. Oh, white, white and tan. White tan. Yeah, white tan. and then they have a yellow and gray. Yellow and gray, and then the mint. Yeah, the seafoam with the gray on that the bottom. Car is, that color is cool, man. I, yeah. I never thought I would like that, but you see a Sylvia done right with the mint top with the gray on the bottom and it's just a really good looking car and then we also have more uh period specific wheels to go on it too to yes kind of help with the two-tone look it's going to have a good look and we're going to do that same two-tone which is going to be a silvery gray with a lot of flake and we're going to do a um 
a pearl. A pearl over top. Yeah, yeah. We decided we're gonna do this. Yeah, to try okay. to to try to get it to it pops with the rest of the paint. It'll it it will. And then we're doing the engine bay. That's why the engine's out. Yep. Because the engine bay was white. Yeah. So yep. it needed to be done anyway. We've yanked it. We're redoing the engine bay. So this thing's gonna look really cool. I have, still haven't decided on what color covers we're gonna do. What do you think, Ed? We got the gray ones. We got I think black. Yeah, because we're doing the valve or the engine bay the same gray, so probably black. Black. Yeah. And then we can put some blue dress up bolts. Oh yeah, that'll in look the good. black. That'll look good. And then we'll do black yep. uh, intake. We got the wrinkle black. This has got HKS turbos on it. Oh yeah, you can see the tags you on these really them easily now. too. Now yeah. You can see it. Yeah. I mean, normally you can't see them, but <laughs> see, it's got HKS turbos, HKS uh, elbows. Yeah. And so when we say elbows, you know, this, turbo this is a turbo elbows, elbow. This is the turbo elbow because it's not a full downpipe. It's also can be called an O2 housing because your oxygen sensor goes in there. Yeah, but I mean, most of the time we mark these down on the sheet for like the mod list on a car. This is an elbow. Yeah. So this is the how we do elbow. it. And this is actually the wastegate. Yeah, you can see it's divided chamber down into right there. Yeah, which is good. It's a lot better than having it blend right here. Yep. So, if you hear something about like a dump tube, this would just go off and dump into you know the atmosphere. Yeah. Some people call them screamer pipe, and so that's what you know that would come off a wastegate and just go into the atmosphere. This is recycling back into the exhaust, and so you hook your down pipes here to the mid pipe and out. So this car should make some decent power. Yeah, this one ought to make close to 500, too. You know? so Because I think it's got cams. Yeah. It's got cams. Upgraded turbos. It should be right around where that red GTR was. And that made 480. 47. So, I mean, it depends on the injectors. We'll have to see what these injectors are. Oh, oh those that, are... The, I mean, they're definitely aftermarket. They got a different style yeah, clip on them. But I'm not sure of the size. I think we have it written down. We figured it Probably out. Probably so. But... We got the AEM Infinity ECU going on this car. Um, it's already <laughs> tuned to run, but uh, we've got to get it on the dyno after we get the car back together. Um, so this should be a really sweet ride. Look for this for sale soon. And then, like I said, we got the Drift Sylvia project car, which is kind of like supposed to be my drift car, but as you can see, it's it needs a little bit of work. It needs a little it, work. It looks like your dreams of drifting this are drifting away. <laughs> yes. My drifting dreams are drifting away. Yeah. So, um, we'll, we'll see. Josh is sick. I mean, we were actually a little bit slow because we're waiting on parts and stuff. And some of the cars are out in paint and stuff. So, I was going to see about putting Josh on this tomorrow, third, or tomorrow and Friday maybe. But, looks like he's got the flu. So. Wah, 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 Feel wah. better, Joshy. Okay. The MR2 project. Yeah, this is the MR2 that we're going to get to soon. You know. Yeah, we'll yeah. get to that. We're, Don't worry about that. Yeah. 4G63, 800 horsepower, wide body, 2000 GT, wide body yeah. kit. Uh, yeah. So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry point. about that. Yeah. So then that's it. That's uh, pretty much the monthly update of what's going on at Driver Motorsports. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to uh, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe. We've got a lot more cool stuff coming for you. And hit the, the bell thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get the notified bell. when we have a new video. That's yeah. a good call. All right. What is it? What is it called? Notification bell. Notification bell. Yeah. Button. Thing. Button. All right. Internet.